now, Jason, we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers, the battle of the goats. We got the all-time goat in Tom Brady against the current goat in Aaron Rodgers. What do the Green Bay Packers here have to do? We're going to start with the Green Bay Packers. What do they have to do to win this game, J-Bell? Well, you're right. The GOAT, Aaron Rodgers, has to get rid of the ball quickly. That's the key against this Buccaneers defensive front. It's all about identifying the coverage and getting the ball out quickly. That's what Aaron Rodgers does. Mm -hmm. Right here, you wanted to highlight my main man, Devontae Adams, here. What happened here, Jason? This is a brilliant play call down here in the red zone. We know it's, it's hard to score with this kind of space, and what they do is by this play call and the motion, they make it hard for Ramsey to get over the top and cover Devontae Adams. Adams. This is a brilliant play design, and in this situation, it is so hard for the defense to communicate and the corner to cover. You see this traffic he has to get through. They had miscommunication. That's why they scored a touchdown. I can't even imagine how difficult it must be for a corner. You played the position to be able to run through all that traffic to cover the receiver. It's a lot going on, and that's exactly why Green Bay designed that play. Mm -hmm. Right here, you want to look at Aaron Rodgers down here in the red zone. Never forget one thing this man has, and that's wiggle. It's hard <laughs> to get open down there, so Aaron Rodgers can use his legs and get in the end zone. They know this guy's capable of that. Mm -hmm. Everybody does, and this man is a very sneaky athlete. You saw that little shoulder shake he gives, gets the defender up on his feet, and finds a way to get into the end zone. And right here, you want to look at my main man up here at the top and what Aaron Rodgers was able to do down here within the pocket. Listen, when Aaron Rodgers has pressure, he can extend the play by his movement in the pocket, and that's why this happens. That little extra step he took allowed the receiver to get open. Those are things he's going to have to do. What does that look there mean? That yeah. look means you are in trouble, O.C., <laughs> if Aaron Rodgers is looking at you like that because he's saying, I've got you figured out, and that's exactly what he has. Look at the look in his eyes, the cold <laughs> stare of a shark there, J. Bell. That man is a flat-out killer. He's got you figured out, and that's exactly what's happening up here. As you see, he understands he runs to this side with this receiver most of the time, so the defensive backs jump up to stop it, and it is a touchdown to Lazar. It is a brilliant call because he is the guy that's usually run blocking, mm. so the defense thought they had a key. Aaron Rodgers called it out. Touchdown right over their head. Yep, but it is not always about that passing game. They're going to have to be able to run the football effectively in this game, Jason. And how are they able to do that? You know why they have to do that, OC, is because they need to be balanced, right? Mm -hmm. Keep the run pass balanced. And they got three great running backs to do that with. And they all have different styles. You see Dylan there. You see Williams here. He is great in the open field and catching the ball. And once again, as a defender, we have to tackle different type of guys, and then their guy comes in, mm -hmm. their closer, their main man, Aaron Jones. And why I say that is look at this breakaway speed. Mm. When you have a crease, when you have that opportunity, you have to have a guy who can break through and get those extra yards, and he can. And once again, down here in the red zone, you give him the rock, he finds the end zone. He has a nose for the goal line. This guy can close out games. That three-headed monster needs to be effective to keep that offense balanced all night. Man, now we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what they were able to do. And first of all, I wanted to point out something right here. I want you to look at Rob, Rob Gronkowski. Now, the Buccaneers are in tackle over, and Rob Gronkowski is going to be having to have to block this man right here, Cam Jordan, which is not an easy thing to do. You're going to see Cam Jordan stem to the inside. Rob Gronkowski is going to seal the edge on him, block down, get some movement on a fantastic run blocker, and allow Fournette to get some yards there. He is so physical in the run game, and that's exactly why he's there. And you know, to your point, mm -hmm. the one thing you need to do mm -hmm. to make Tom Brady, Tom Brady, is make him feel secure. Mm -hmm. Like he's in a little warm, soft blanket back mm -hmm. there, and he can do anything. Just sitting up there what watching is going the on film. With your voice, he man. just, you know, when you're sitting there watching the film yeah. and you feel all cozy and comfortable, yeah. okay. that's how he wants to feel in the pocket, OC. And that's what happens when his offensive line can block like this. He can identify what you're doing on defense faster and quicker than anybody if he feels secure in the pocket. This offensive line of Tampa Bay has been physical and dominant of late, and they need to continue to do that. You see it once again right here. He's in that cozy mm. pocket, and he can find his outlet and make precision throws over and over and over again. As long as Tom Brady feels secure, he can get the ball out quickly, and you will pay. Leonard Fournette, who had a great game, 
on the ground and in the passing game, all of these plays are being identified by Tom Brady because he feels safe and secure. And now we're going to talk about this Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense because they are an opportunistic defense forcing turnovers. And you wanted to talk about this guy right here, right, Jason? Absolutely. This is brilliant film study. They understand Drew Brees is not going to beat them vertically, so they're physical with the receivers and they go after the ball. That's the difference when you attack the ball. They have been taught to do this and they're skillful at this because they're trying to create turnovers. But the main thing about creating turnovers is capitalizing on it. And that's what the Buccaneers are going to have to do. Every time they get a turnover, if they get a turnover, they need to score touchdown to Mike Evans on the fade route. Mike Evans has been running that fade route for seven years. They ain't stopped it yet, <laughs> J-Bell. And right here, you wanted to talk about Winfield, yeah? Anton Winfield Jr., the rookie safety right here with the peanut punch, we call it. Mm. But it's the team defense right here by White. It's the speed. He picks up the fumble and he runs it back. He is trying to score, O.C. Every time they get that opportunity, they're trying to get an end zone. And Tom Brady knows he needs to make the most of that. He gets the short route to Leonard Fournette, who's having a great game and been really well this year, catching and running the ball. Mm -hmm. Right here, we're going to talk about 45 White. And let's see what he was able to do here, Jason. He he has flown all over the field in this game. And right here, miscommunication. He gets the interception, and he is trying to score. Ooh. He is muscling people, letting them know <laughs> his gym membership has not expired. He is letting them know this is a physical game. And what happens? That offense of the Buccaneers comes on the field, and they are going to make you pay. They are going to get in the end zone every time they get an opportunity from a turnover, they capitalize. That is the key to their success. They will have to continue with that to win this game.